guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimp of the Limp, and I'm here with something just a little bit different, doing kind of a, a year-end review of some Kickstarters, some paint products, some things that had all delivered right about the same time over the past so many months or so, and whether or not they're good, bad, or indifferent, shooting in the middle. So first off, we're going to start with a little green stuff. Green stuff had a Kickstarter they did where it was the Max Dark. No, not Dark, Darth. Darth, Darth Vader over here. Basically the blackest of black paints and included with that, you could get uh, a multitude of different items. They had some paint sets, they had this paint uh, brush rinser thing, but the main purpose of the Kickstarter was the blackest of black paint. Now, the paint gets an A plus. Outstanding, does a really good job. Uh, you can really see it when you're comparing it to some other like basic black paints. Uh, I took a base that I had already painted in black and then did half of it in this stuff and it was night and day. You could really tell the difference. I would not use this stuff to uh, prime minis. I mean, you could probably if you really wanted those dark recesses, uh, but I wouldn't use it for anything like that. Uh, I would use this stuff if you really want something to be black, like you need a, a very, very dark effect for whatever reason on a mini, this is gonna be the stuff you're gonna go to. Plenty of companies are putting out the, the blackest black, the darkest dark, whatever, it's the, the newest thing. Uh, these green stuff ones, they're actually worth getting. As far as uh, the paint goes, they have a set. Uh, you can get multitude of different effects, right? Included with a, a 17 mil bottle of this, or you can get bigger bottles of it just on its own. Uh, but the paint itself is worth getting. So part of that Kickstarter though, also included their brush rinse uh, thing. Yeah, brush rinser, whatever. Basically is this plastic contraption that has built-in water container on it and a little reservoir that when you push down on it, it empties out and it allows you to keep fresh water for your brushes, right? So when you're, you're painting, you have your water cup there that you're always rinsing your brushes out in and it gets dirty really quickly. And over a, a painting session, you can end up having to empty that thing two or three times. Well, with this, you've got multiple refills ready to go. Small little reservoir, you push button, it empties out that dirty water and new water trickles right in. That's great. Here's the thing though, right? So I, I got the, the set that included this piece and I wanted it because I already had one, but I wanted one that was a little smaller, a little more streamlined, fit on my table. Uh, this did not work well at all. Uh, the components are just very cheaply made. Uh, only the body, the gray piece itself is actually of decent thickness to really stand the test of time. But the rest of the pieces, uh, the green piece, the little part here, the water comes in. It's so thin that it reminds me of the plastic that is on the outside of containers. Like it, it's the packaging right? It's packaging level plastic. That's that's what I'm trying to get across is it's that thin. Uh, this is supposed to be a screw on top. It's it's not. You can just pull it straight off without screwing it at all. It, it comes right off. The reservoir that the water holds into doesn't stay. Uh, more than once, it's had a slight little gap when I've pushed it down. And instead of resealing, it's emptied out and the whole container will just slowly trickle down over a few minutes and all my water's gone. So it's not really serving its purpose. To be fair, the product isn't expensive. I think it's like 15 bucks if you buy it individually, maybe a little more, but I would have rather seen them increase the cost and put out a product that's worth having. Uh, like I said, the, the container part itself that the, the water sits on, uh, that's fine. It's it's thick enough to be serviceable, but the rest of the pieces, the hinge, the spring, the little plastic pieces, the sealant, uh, the container, the water comes in, all of the, uh, those pieces are just so cheaply made that you can tell they are not gonna last the test of time. My guess is this is gonna wear out very, very quickly. 
And that's sad because it's it's a great design. The the product works for its purpose. It just doesn't work because it's cheaply made and the, the components don't fit that well, especially if there's a little hook piece that the spring, the little button uh, connects to and the, the little plastic hinges, little hooks uh, that push through on that are so thin that I know within just a few times of using it, that plastic's gonna wear away and the button's gonna be useless. As soon as that happens, then the, the product is done. I'm gonna have to try to find a way to reinforce it. Now, I did have one, the similar product that I've been using for well over a year now. It's freshwater rinse well. I'll put a picture of it online or up now. And this one is more expensive. It's probably, Ten dollars more, maybe fifteen dollars more. It's it's somewhere around twenty five, thirty bucks for this one versus the fifteen to twenty that the green stuff one costs. But it's so much more better made, and the the components are, are nice and sturdy. I've never had it leak out. It can hold three times the amount of water. It's got a bigger reservoir. It even has little spots you can put brushes on it. Uh, the base is thick enough that I can lay brushes across it. And it, it, it's gonna last. I, I've been using mine every time I paint now and it's worked great every time. I have never had it leak water on me one single time. Reservoir is held every time. The green stuff one, it leaked water the very first day, the very first few times I used it, the water leaked out of it. So instead of the green stuff, I would go with this one instead. Uh, the only downside is it is rather large. So it does take up a fair amount of table space. That's why I was wanting to have the green stuff one because it's half the size. But sadly, it's it doesn't matter if it's half the size if it doesn't work for its intended purpose. So green stuff, rinse well is uh, a miss. It's a, it's a biggest disappointment probably on this list of products right now. All right, so let's step into something a little bit better. We had the Maxton Black Ghost Brushes. Now, this is a company that has made uh, brushes a few times before. They focus on miniature style brushes, uh, detail brushes, dry brushes. Uh, they've had a white version. They've done this black version. And they are, when it comes to paint brushes, these are about middle grade. Okay, so I, I took some of these brushes and I got to say, for the amount that I paid, it wasn't a lot. I think I, I backed at like the $30, $40 level, something like that, and got a handful of brushes. Well, more than a handful, probably including the dry brushes. I think it was somewhere between 10 and 15 brushes total. I forget exactly how many came with the thing, uh, but a fair amount of brushes did come with this. And because of the cost, you, you weren't paying that much for all the brushes. Here's the problem with that, is because you're not paying as much, to, you're not getting as high a quality. And that comes down to the bristles. The handles really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't matter if it's wood, plastic, or whatever. It's the bristles that are going to matter because that's where all the work is done. These being synthetic, something I have found with synthetics myself, and you guys tell me if you have an idea of how to get around this, is that they tend to assume shapes over time that you don't see this happening with uh, real type brushes, the real bristles. Uh, sadly, the Maxton Black did have that effect. They wear out quicker. Uh, I noticed this effect where the very front tip started to just bend that little bit. And it was small, but it's noticeable. And you can still use the brushes, but even with uh, brush uh, soaps and straighteners and formers and all this other type stuff, uh, I kept them clean. I didn't use metallic paints with them, nothing harsh on them, made sure the paint didn't get down in the, uh, in the well of the brush, you know. I did everything that I, I'm supposed to do to take care of the brushes, but they just don't last that well. However, they are good for their intended purpose. They, they have the sorted sizes, the details, right? And they do have a nice tip on them that stays for the most part. It's going to wear out 
quicker, but you're only paying when you get the, the decent cost set a few dollars per brush. So you're not really out that much. This is a good set of brushes to get if you've got something that you wanna do that's maybe a little bit harsher. Maybe you want to do detail work, but you wanna do detail work with metallic paints, something that's gonna be a little bit harder and you don't wanna use your sable brushes, right? Your, your better hair brushes. These are perfectly fine because if they go bad, you're out a couple of bucks and it's not a big deal, but they are good enough to accomplish their purpose uh, that you, you're trying to do, right? They have that good tip. It's going to maintain it for at least long enough to, to get the job done. They're just not going to last as long as you would like them to last. Their dry brushes are fine. Dry brushes are great. No problem with the dry brushes. It's just the detail brushes. And like I said, you're only paying ultimately a few dollars for each one of these. So it's not that big of a deal if you, uh, you do lose it. On the flip side of that, we have the Monument Pro Sable brushes. Now this wasn't a Kickstarter. These are some that I picked up because I finally decided I wanted to have some high-end brushes. And when you get these, you really start to notice the difference you can see in some brushes. Monument puts out a good set. However, like I said, you when I did the Kickstarter on these, I got a bunch of brushes and it cost something like 30 bucks. And that included dry brushes, a bunch of detail brushes. These cost about 50 bucks for about five brushes. So you're paying about $10 per brush. Thing of it is though, is these monument brushes have held over time. I don't use them constantly. I use them on my more important work, uh, but even still, they've held their tips. Uh, as long as you keep them clean, you wash them, you use a little brush former on them, the, the soap that you're gonna use on the, the brushes, uh, they work really, really well. Monument puts out a good set of brushes. So these, if you're starting out or you, you want some brushes to get work done, but you're not worried about the, the minutia of the detail, go with these. If you're stepping up and you're trying to improve your A game and you're trying to really do some professional work, that's when you're going to look into these monument brushes and you're going to pay the premium, but you're going to get the premium. These are going to last you if you take care of them. So ultimately, neither set is bad. They're, they're both good in their own own respects. But if you want general run of the mill work where you just got a bunch of bulk brushes you can burn through, these work really well. And these, mm, these are Kachivas, these are great. Monument, perfect. Lastly, I uh, wanted to touch on something else and it's also by Monument. I gotta say Monument has been impressing me lately. They've been putting out some, some quality stuff. They partnered up with Ninjon, love him. He does some really good work. Now, of course, I'm not Ninjon. I, I, shit. I don't paint anywhere near as well as that guy does, but he shows some really good techniques and helps me learn new things. And they had a couple of signature sets. One of them was his. Uh, I want to say their signature sets are absolutely worth it. Their paints are really, really, really good. So many people have different paints out there now. It's hard to know which ones are the, the right ones to go with, whether it's Army Painter or Vallejo or Monument. Uh, Duncan Rhodes has his own paint set now, the Two Thin Coats line. You know, so there's multiple different ways you can go with it when it comes to paints. But I got to say, these monument signature sets are definitely worth investing in because they've got some unusual colors, ones that uh, these pro painters wished companies had put out, right? Certain types of colors, something that you can't find is readily available in other lines. And my favorite by far is this beige red, because I don't know if you guys can see this that well, but... It is the perfect, perfect skin tone. It is the best skin tone paint I have found, bar none. Works so, so freaking well. And it is one of the two signature sets uh, that Monument has out is this uh, beige red. Now they've got, like I said, two of them and you get six in the signature set in each one of them. So it's 12 total if you get both. And if I remember right off the top of my head, there's something like 26 bucks or so uh, for each one of them. So they're not, badly priced by any means for the quality of paints that you're getting, but especially get the signature set that's got the beige red. Best, best skin tone I have found. I have tried plenty of them. Always hit or miss. Uh, hard to get the, the skin looking just right. 
This does so, so, so well. Well, at least as far as white skin. Haven't found a good uh, dark skin yet, uh, paint yet, but I'm, I'm still looking. If I find one, I will let you guys know. Anyway, that is just a quick year in review of some of the different painting items that I have used. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are great. Sadly, some of them were crap. It's just not worth uh, the investment, but at least I tossed out some different uh, options for you guys. If you have the table space for that big uh, rinse well, definitely worth getting. That green stuff one, man, that was just, oh God, I hate that. It was disappointment. Hopefully they can improve it and put something better out because the, the idea, the, the shape, the product, everything's great. It just needs stronger, better components. If I would rather pay just a little bit more and get something that's going to last me than pay a little bit less and get something I'm going to have to replace or fix in five days. All right, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I don't uh, put up another video before then, I hope everyone has a happy new year. You guys take care. I'll catch you in the next one.